Hi students, as a part of uh, biodegradable polymers, today I am going to explain you about uh, the second uh, biodegradable polymer. That is, um, in the previous video, I have explained about the preparation or synthesis of polyvinyl alcohol, which was uh, the biodegradable polymer. So today, whatever the biodegradable polymer about which I am going to explain to you is polylactic acid. So I am going to explain to you the preparation or synthesis of polylactic acid. So since polylactic acid is the polymer, so definitely the expected monomer is lactic acid only. Expected monomer is lactic acid. Lactic acid. But in order to get the structure of the polymer from the lactic acid, you should not remember the lactic acid by its trivial name or commercial name. You have to remember the name of the lactic acid by its IUPAC name. By its IUPAC name. Now, what is the IUPAC name of uh, lactic acid? IUPAC name of lactic acid. Lactic acid is 2-hydroxy. 2-hydroxy propionic acid. 2-hydroxy propionic acid. 2 hydroxy acid. So, in this manner, you have to remember the lactic acid in order to get the structure of a polylactic acid. But don't remember the lactic acid by its commercial name. Lactic acid is the commercial name, whereas 2 hydroxy propionic acid is the IUPAC name of the lactic acid. Now, how we will get the structure of 2 hydroxy propionic acid? Propionic acid. So it is very easy to get the structure of uh, uh, the 2-hydroxy propionic acid students. So need not to memorize by writing it 10 to 10 times for that. So PROP stands for 3 carbons. PROP stands for 3 carbons. So accordingly, 3 carbons. 1, 2, 3. PROP stands for 3 carbons. Now label the carbons. 1, 2, 3. Now, oic acid. Oic acid. Oic acid is a suffix used for which class of organic molecules? Students? Oic acid is a suffix used for carboxylic molecules. Carboxylic organic molecules. Carboxylic. So, accordingly, it is carboxylic this carboxylic c double bond o h now it is 2 hydroxy propionic acid so since it is 2 hydroxy propionic acid we have to place the hydroxyl group at the, at the second position at the second Now, this is the basis skeleton of the lactic acid or 2 hydroxy propionic acid students. Now, in order to get the structure from the basis skeleton of uh, this particular 2 hydroxy propionic acid, what we need to do? We have to satisfy the valency of each and every carbon. That is, we have to make sure the four bonds around each and every carbon atom in this particular basis skeleton. What is the valence of the carbon? The valence of the carbon is 4. Since the valence of the carbon is 4, we have to ensure four bonds around each and every carbon atom. So, if it is lacking the bond, then we have to place the hydrogen. So, accordingly, the first carbon, the first carbon. How many bonds are there around it? Only one bond is there. Only one bond is there. So it is lacking three bonds. So since it is lacking three bonds, we have to place three hydrogens. Okay. So coming to the second carbon. Second carbon around uh, the second carbon. One, two, three. So three are present. So it is lacking one bond. So we need to place one bond. Now coming to third carbon, so around it, 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. 
So the valency of the third carbon has been satisfied. So we need not to place uh, any hydrogen at the third carbon. Now what we need to do is, in order to simplify the preparation or synthesis of polylactic acid, what I will do is, I will rearrange the structure. I will rearrange the structure. So I will rearrange the structure in such a manner that I will bring this hydroxy group here at the methyl group and I will take this methyl group to the hydroxyl group. Just I will interchange the hydroxyl and methyl group which are both are attached to the second carbon only. So since both are attached to the second carbon we can interchange. If they are attached to another different carbon, then uh, we are not supposed to interchange. But as they are attached to the same carbon, we can interchange their position in order to simplify, by which we can easily remember uh, the structure of polylactic acid only. So accordingly, I am writing the same structure, students. C double bond O, C double bond O, OH. Double bond O for H, right? Next, uh, CH, no change at CH. Next, insert the uh, insert of hydroxyl group, this I'm interchanging. CH3 and the hydroxyl group takes the position of CH3. Right. Now, what you need to do is write down another moiety of the same lactic acid. Another so moiety of same lactic acid. Same OH, no change. OH. Next, CH, no change. CH3, no change. Next is C double bond O, no change. OH, no change. Just I wrote uh, another moiety of same lactic acid. Now during the polymerization, what happens is hydroxy group is lost from carboxy moiety. Hydroxy group that is this hydroxy group is lost from carboxylic moiety and hydrogen is lost from hydroxy moiety. Hydroxy group is lost from lost from carboxylic moiety. Hydrogen is lost from Hydroxy molecule. That's it. The remaining is 1MC. So now, how to write the structure? You have to write the structure of the resulting polylactic in such a manner that there should not be the hydroxy group of the carboxy moiety and hydrogen of hydroxyl group. In such a manner, you have to write the structure of the resulting polymer. That is, you should not write hydroxy group of carboxylic moiety and hydrogen of hydroxy moiety. Now, these will undergo the direct condensation states. Direct condensation. Direct condensation. So, actually, the synthesis of polylactic acid is somewhat complicated. So, since it is complicated, uh, in order to make it easy for you, I have chosen this particular uh, mechanism or uh, I have chosen this direct condensation method. So with this direct condensation method, directly you will get uh, the structure of the poly lactic acid without any ambiguity, without any confusion. So now what we need to do? We should not write the hydrogen of the hydroxyl group. And we should not write the, the hydroxy of carboxy. So the remaining accordingly. So the resulting structure. So we should not write this hydrogen. Hydrogen 
because what is lost hydroxy and hydrogen water molecules being lost that is n number because there is some the polymerization so hydrogen is being lost from hydroxy o ch there is no change ch3 there is no change c double bond o c double bond o oh hydroxy group has been lost from carboxylic moiety so we should not write this hydroxy and hydrogen has been lost from hydroxy moiety of this so what is left c double bond o oh is lost h is lost so both are lost both are lost both are lost so c double bond o is linked to oxygen next ch ch3 there is no change next again the hydroxyl group is a part of carboxylic moiety so when we come across with the hydroxy group which is a part of carboxy moiety then definitely it should be removed because it will be removed along with the hydrogen of hydroxy moiety as the water during the polymerization so c double bond o so c so this is the preparation or synthesis of polylactic acid so this is polylactic acid i hope you understood this particular preparation of synthesis of polylactic acid without any ambiguity so thank you